Hey there Aries and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of October and we're going to take a look at past, present and near future energies. Also Aries, if this reading resonates and you want to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. And of course, if you enjoy what I do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Donation link is below and any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Also, I've linked all the cards, all the decks that I use below in the description box if you want to go check this out. Okay, so there's definitely love showing up here. You get two aces, and aces are all about beautiful, beautiful brand new beginnings. And also notice all the blue in the near future. Um, it's really interesting because Scorpio got the two of pentacles in the exact same location here. So I do feel like you're very, we'll get to this. Main energy for your reading is the King of Cups. There is love. You have a lot of love for somebody here. Um, and I feel like they have a lot of love for you too. You just don't quite know it. In the recent past, you get the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Five of Wands. You're trying to have this new beginning with this person. I feel like you're trying to be very logical, very practical. Um, you're trying to have like a new start. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you guys are separated or broken up, but it's more so like... You want to like have a level up. You want to take whatever you guys are right now, you want to have a new beginning to that. Whether you guys are having an argument, you want to have a new beginning. Whether you're separated, you want to start over. Whether you guys are even just fine, you want to kind of take this to the next level. And you're showing me I'm a little bit conflicted here. Um, but you're trying to be very logical and very practical about how you approach this and how you make this new beginning happen. In the current situation, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. There's a lot of resistance here for you, internal, because again, you do want to have this new beginning. You do want to start over, but you don't want to not prioritize yourself. There's very much an energy here of, I need to focus on me, my needs, my desires, my stability, right? Um, and you prioritize yourself above this connection and this other person. And that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing because I do see a lot of resistance here for you. Now, I don't know if this resistance is coming from the other person where you're trying and they're just kind of like you're meeting a brick wall or if this is internal. So we're going to clarify and see. In the near future, you get the three of cups, the world and the two of pentacles. You're a little bit confused here in the near future. You're like, do I want this back? Do I want to like, you know, have this new beginning? Do I want to keep investing effort and in making this happen? Or do I want to just put an end to this? You bounce back and forth. You're not 100% sure. There's a little bit of confusion here. Um, this is very similar to Scorpio's reading, so some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio. All right, let's take a look. Let's clarify. Let's see the King of Cups, which is the main energy for your reading this month. King of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Wands, Four of Swords, the Hanged Man. Yeah, you do want to have this brand new beginning with this person. You want to take it there. You want to kind of like wipe the slate clean, start over, bring back that passion, that excitement. You get the Ace of Wands twice. You're also showing me that you want to really heal things and fix things with this person, which is letting me know that there's like a little bit of like uneven footing. Like you guys are not, something's not, something's going on. Right? There's something. It's not a separation or a breakup per se. It could be for some of you, but something's going on. And you're showing me this is what I want, but nothing's actually happening in the 3D world. So I don't know if you're not taking action to make it happen or, again, if you're trying, but you're just being met with, like, resistance. But I do see kind of like I want this. I want to fix this. I want to heal this. Nothing's actually happening. Though. Let's see. Let's see. Very interesting reading. Let's take a look at the Ace of Pentacles, which is the first card in your recent past. Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Moon, the King of Swords, which you get again in the recent past, and the Nine of Swords. You do want to have this new start, but again, you want it, but you don't want to tell yourself, like, I'm going to really, how do I explain this? You want to, to, to start over, right? Wipe the slate clean, have a new beginning, um, and it stresses you out about whether or not you can actually make this happen in the recent past, but your way of like not stressing out is just be like, look, Aries, let me just be logical about this. Let me just be practical, right? It's almost kind of like your way of mitigating the anxiety, mitigating the pain, mitigating how much energy you're actually devoting to trying to fix this or have a new beginning, right? You use logic. 
I do see that you want it. I really do, Aries, but there's also a lot of energy here of you like concealing it, shutting it down, pretending like you don't really want it. Oh, it's not that big a deal, you know. Um, there's a lot of that going on here for you internally in the recent past. Let's take a look at the King of Swords because you got it twice and we just started this reading. King of Swords is clarified by the Six of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. You're trying to figure out how can I make this work, right? How can we successfully overcome this? How can we successfully overcome whatever disagreement, tiff, whatever's going on between the two of you? I'm just going to call it the something because I don't know what it is. Whatever iffy something is going on between the two of you right now, how do we successfully overcome that, right? You're evaluating, you're assessing because you are very confused. The thing is, though, you're trying to be logical and practical about this. You're showing me... I want to overcome this, but I'm not going to do it from an emotional place. I want it to make sense, right? I want us to be logical about this. There's no point in us just being like, oh, I love you, you love me, yay, because that's not going to solve anything, right? We need logic. We need rationale. We need to figure out how to make sure that we resolve this and successfully overcome this, and it doesn't happen again. Let's take a look at the five of wands in the recent past. Wow. Wow. Five of Wands is clarified by the Five of Wands again, the Queen of Pentacles, which you get immediately after this in the current situation, and the Three of Pentacles. You're really trying to work with this person. You're showing me like, look, yes, there's this something between us. There's this eh, not so great energy, but come, come, meet me halfway. Let's work together. You put a brick, I put a brick. Let's rebuild this foundation. Let's overcome this conflict. But again, your main priority here is I'm not going to bend over backwards to make this work. Me my needs, my stability, my priority, I come first, okay? You and this relationship come second, and that's fine, Aries. That's not a bad thing to say, right? Um, but I feel like you're almost, I don't know if you're like communicating that to this person, but your energy is very much like me, 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 me. You need to come to me. You need to work with me. Like I'll do 50%. Like I'll carry the heavy load with you, but I'm not carrying this load all by myself. Like I'm not I'm not going to figure out how to make this work all alone, even though you want to. You really do want it to work, right? But you're showing me, like, as much as I want this, don't expect me to do all, all the heavy lifting here. Let's take a look at the current situation. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Star of the Page of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're showing me. I do. I have communicated it to this person. I am coming in. I'm putting my heart on my sleeve. I really do want us to move past this energy, move towards a much more positive energy, right? Like I want us to get back on track. Um, but again, not at the expense of me. Okay. So for example, let's say this other person has a very demanding job and you don't get to see them as much as you would like. You're letting them know, hey, I want us to see each other more, but I'm not about to completely shift my schedule to work with your schedule. You got to meet me halfway. You got to make some accommodations, even if it means that you don't sleep for two days. I don't care, right? You have to meet me halfway in order for us to get back on track. I can't be the one bending over backwards here. Um, let's take a look at the Ace of Wands in the current situation. Ace of Wands is clarified by the Page of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. You have your doubts, right? You have your doubts about whether or not you guys can get back on track. You love your person. They love you, all right? And you're very attracted to this person. There's something very charismatic, very magnetic, very radiant about them. But you're also showing me I'm very good at being logical. I'm very good at being practical. And I can shut off my emotions just like that, okay? I'm not going to let my emotions for you and the love and attraction that I have for you get the better of me. And I feel like this person is very much aware of that. You're a force to be reckoned with, Aries. Like, this person, you love them. You have feelings for them. But it's not going to come at the expense of you and what you want and your stability. Badass energy, I got to say. Let's take a look at the Nine of Wands in the current situation. Nine of Wands is clarified by the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. You're moving slowly. You're showing me, look, I know I love you. I know you love me, all right? And 
I'm moving very, very slowly when it comes to you because right now I don't 100% know where this is going to go. Again, do I want us to get past this? Yes. But I also, like, I'm not wearing my heart on my sleeve and I don't 100% trust that just because I want this, it's going to happen. And so you're showing me, like, you're kind of focusing on yourself, your career, your money, whatever it is, right? And you're trying to make progress when it comes to this person, but there's a lot of resistance. Now, again, I don't know if this is resistance from the other person or if this is internal or both, but I do see that there is slow progress. And the main reason this progress is so slow is because, again, there's that resistance there. So you can't move much faster than this, but at least you are making progress. Let's take a look at the near future. I want to see what the Three of Cups is all about in the near future. Three of Cups is clarified by the King of Cups, the Nine of Wands, which you just got, that resistance I was talking about, and the Eight of Cups. You do really love your person. You don't want to give up on this connection, but because there's so much resistance, you're starting to kind of emotionally detach and emotionally disconnect from this idea of we can make this work, we can get past this. It's almost like an energy of like I've been trying and trying and trying and nothing's happening as quickly as I would like it to happen. So I'm kind of just like releasing that emotional attachment to it. Not entirely, right? Because you do still, you don't want to give up on this person. You don't want to give up on this connection. But because nothing's happening and things are kind of stuck, like you showed me in the main energy for your reading, you're kind of losing a little bit of that, okay, I want this, I want this, I want this. There's a little bit of an emotional detachment here. Um, from of from the idea of okay we can make this happen this can't work this can work we are able to move forward you're not completely giving up on the idea you're just kind of releasing your grasp a little bit let's take a look at the world in the near future world is clarified by the emperor the empress and the page of wands here's the thing i do feel like you and your person the emperor and the empress this is like the divine match of all divine matches and beyond that okay beyond that you guys are looking at each other so i do feel like there is a bit of a turn here in the near future right where you guys are able to overcome this difficult cycle between you and your person and there's happiness there's true happiness at least for a while that fun playful energy comes back you feel that connection again you're kind of like i choose you you, they tell you, I choose you, and you guys are kind of back on track again. The reason I say at least for a little while is because I do see this. So there may be a little bit of flip-flopping here for you where it's like, okay, we made it. No, we didn't. Yes, we've overcome this. We've, st we've kind of turned a new leaf. No, we haven't. But at least for a little while in the near future, you guys are able to get back on track. You're able to get over that difficult energy um, and that emotional connection comes back. And you two really are a match made in heaven. Like the emperor and the empress, it's not just a divine match on like a physical level, an emotional level. Like you guys are really, really compatible um, on a higher self level as well. Let's take a look at the two of pentacles in the near future. Two of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Death. Okay, despite the confusion, despite the resistance, you guys are back on track, all right? I do see you being able to have this new beginning in love, <clears throat> excuse me, and deep down you feel that, you know that. So yes, there is going to be a little bit of confusion, right? Because you guys do get back on track, and you may show me like, okay, well, maybe they're not back on track, maybe, because again... It, just take this as an example. After an argument, right, you guys make up and you've talked it through, there is still some resistance. There is still some of that like residual, like, you know, feelings from the before. And that's fine. But I do see that despite that, despite those feelings coming up, despite that little bit of a wall, you guys are able to get back on track. There's a new beginning in love here for you together with your person and deep down you know like we've released whatever doesn't serve us anymore and now we're together moving forward this is beautiful i like this i like this i was i was kind of like hesitant when i saw this but it all takes a turn for the better in the near future let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month From the universe, you get the Eight of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is a very strong connection. It is. And I do feel like your person's going to come in and really wear their heart on their sleeve. They're going to open up. They're going to have this vulnerable, beautiful, honest communication with you, right? And 
they're really, really going to express themselves and that's going to bring the love back into this connection. You guys are going to be able to make it through this. It all takes a turn for the better in the near future. And I like this. So Aries, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And of course, if you enjoy what I do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Donation link is below and any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for tuning in, Aries, and I will see you here on the next one.